Hello everybody and welcome back to another Daredevil episode. This is season 1 episode 10, Nelson vs. Mordog. Oh, look at his pretty face, I can't. Maddie. Holy fuck, look at that shit. Look at that shit. I would do that if I were you. You didn't know he was there? That was your nurse friend. Oh, yeah, he called her. Yeah. Okay. Just tell me one thing, Matt. Are you even blind? Are you even really blind? <laughs> oh. The hair. What? Love it. Excuse me, is this, is this room 312? Oh. I don't Sorry. love Maddie's hair. I really. I like. Really good looking guy. Good. Oh, I'm. Um, I mean, girls must love that. The whole. Wounded, handsome duck thing. What? Right? Huh. Uh, don't be mad, so Foggy. That's not, you know. Are you... Come on, Foggy. You obviously understand why he couldn't tell you. Right? I mean, I think I would be pretty upset too. For years, I actually felt sorry for you. I didn't ask for that. Felt sorry? I never asked for that. That's yeah, not nice, Foggy. I too. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Always. Always, every time. Did you blow up those buildings? Shoot those cops? You really even need to. Right? Have... Yeah. Okay. Foggy. I got this, Karen. You don't have to be Call mean to her everything. if you're upset with Matt. He sounds so <laughs> weird speaking Chinese, like. Yeah, you got young. So weird. <laughs> I mean, it's impressive, don't get me wrong. Even if he doesn't know what he's saying, and he's just acting it. Sounds like... like a rewind tape. Are you fucking kidding me? One has to be sacrificed for the other. Can you just be like... Choose. And choose wisely. Please, I wanna like you. More fearless then. I don't see much of that guy now. Oh, shut up. When we first met, turning heads, you certainly turned mine. But that's not who you were always supposed to be. I don't want her to die. He keeps me talking. Oh, oh don't die, girl. Not right now. Who are you? Don't. Hello, gorgeous. Aww. Let's speak outside. Yeah. I don't like the sound of that. I never learned how to sew. But you learned how to fight. That's different. Old man. Taught you the ancient ways of martial arts. Isn't that the plot to Kung Fu? Well, so. what do you want to hear? Radioactive spider bit me? I know you had onions in your lunch two days ago. I know you're hungry and tired. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you listen to her heartbeat without her permission? I mean... We're lawyers. You can't do that. There's a system in place and it's weird and invasive. It's just a heartbeat. I wasn't telling the truth. You knew? And what? Just played along. Well, you were lying, so what was it supposed to do? Was anything ever real with us? <gasps> Watch oh. out, everybody! Uh, avocado. El Grande Avocado. Avo avocado. <laughs> <laughs> he got cut pretty bad over his eye. Boxing match. You win? He never did. No, he did once. Then he got killed. I like that. There's money in that. Oh, come on. Is that all you care about? No. No. Yeah. Truth and justice and all that. That too, but, you know. A couple of bucks? <laughs> money. Me and you, it's pal. important. We're going to have big, fancy offices one day. 
Without it, you can't buy Steel. much of like toilet paper. Chairs, you don't... can't see where a shit, but my hearing's spectacular. <laughs> Me and you, pal. I like him so much. We're gonna do this. We're gonna be the. It was real. Everything was real. He just had a secret part of his life. <laughs> That's normal. People have secrets. You don't share every single thing with your best friend, right? He's got so much going on in his plate. And he's so nice. Not an explosive, is it? Shit. You got a cream. You have a son, yes? You know I do. Which well, I'm a burn him alive. In the past, I assume you met a woman. Do with this everything. Because he met a woman. Gal's right. You've changed. Change is inevitable. Mm. For me, this city. For everybody, and honey. And certain relationships. But he, yeah, he's soft now. He's a pudding. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take him out. I appreciate your support in the matter. Sure, why not? <laughs> He's gonna plot well, with her together, right? against him. What do you say? You couldn't hear with your super. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It's not enough playing judge and jury. You gotta add executioner to the list. Honey. I didn't think I had a choice. What he happened? doesn't really. Going after him through the system. With you as my partner, there's no telling when I'll be able to afford a real meal again. <laughs> Lucid ones, you know. Oh my god. I can't afford this place. This is a waste of time. She's gonna pay for it with the money, right? With the Let's just take a look around. just can't stop yourself I don't want to stop I'm with Maddie here I'm sorry Foggy we could just knock she has someone living there Karen. but confused by other men <laughs> there are those that question. She's alive. Why a man? Somebody can't hold this liquor. He did it. That's why she was like touching her hair. He poisoned them. <gasps> oh, it wasn't him. Vanessa. Who was it? Who's gonna stop Fisk? He tried to keep it a secret. The law. Did not involve them. You weren't supposed to see that. If you could have put on a mask and prevented what happened to her. That Karen didn't know? Oh, this no, 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 Needs no. me in that mask, buddy. Don't cry. Uh -huh. Maybe you're... They're gonna fix this, right? They're gonna fix this. They're like a married couple. They're besties. They can't just break up like this. There is no one I'd rather be doing this with, buddy. Seriously. Me too, pal. They're gonna fix this. They are. Damn glass. Don't you dare break it or throw it away. You are going to fix this. Throw it away. Foggy. I understand Foggy, but I also understand Mari. Like, Foggy, just open your fucking mind. Brain. <sighs> All right. Um, I didn't take notes. Like I said, I don't feel like doing a review right now either. <laughs> I'm just diving into the bad day. 
It was a great episode though. I love watching it. It really put me in a better mood. Even though it was lagging so much. It was on the internet though. Uh, as I was saying, I understand. That's all I want to say. I understand Foggy, but I also understand Maddie. And like, just because you have a best friend doesn't mean that you have to tell them every single detail about your life. And I know Maddie's lie was pretty fucking heavy. Let's just not lie. Uh, it was heavy. It was it was hard. But he's he's allowed to have secrets. He's allowed. And Foggy, he, he's he's gonna get over it. I know it, cause um, I've had people lie to me, and I'm pretty pretty delicate with lies. Like I have cut people out of my life for lies, not even this big compared to you know Marty's lie. Um, but he's gonna get over it, cause you know. I I never. I mean, I got over it. I just didn't talk to. The people I stopped talking to because they lied to me because I'm proud, but Foggy is not. They love each other. He's gonna get over it. He's gonna get over it. I know it. I feel it in my heart. Hoping that he's not proud like me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. And as always, I'm Samiano, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan. I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand. I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland